Hello, my awesome, sweet Aries people. I missed you guys so much. Hope you're doing wonderful. Happy Thursday. It's almost weekend time. I'm so happy for us. Hang in there, Aries. Um, the weekend is almost here. Um, Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are, Aries. So first, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Aries, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, what's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their summer journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their summer journey? This one wants to show up as extra message very important <clears throat> wow <sighs> my goodness uh your soulmate is showing up here even though we didn't ask about them directly yet uh you showing up here as disappointed that this person uh, for some reason didn't meet you halfway in this connection didn't reciprocate didn't put work into this didn't communicate um yeah and you lost faith in this situation in this relationship this person wants to break the silence they want to communicate with you <clears throat> wow look at the connection the two of you have spiritually and emotionally lots of love between you two let's see universe please show us you see all knights deliver something. Knight of Cups delivers usually apologies, emotional offers, emotional gestures, love. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Ooh, you love this person a lot though, Aries. Yeah, you, you are overflowing with emotions for this person. Look how beautiful your energy is whether you're male or female, uh, this is you loving this person deeply, but you wish for this person to meet you halfway, to reciprocate, to show where you stand in their life. Yeah, you see? Hmm. Wow, you two love each other so much. Look at this. Again, two of cups from another tarot deck. You know, please show us What's coming up for Aries in their life? A lot of you are dealing with Pisces, Virgo, and Leo showing up here, and Taurus, and Capis. You know, please show us what's coming up <clears throat> for Aries in their life, and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? And Cancerian over here. This is you. Wow. You are definitely beyond just disappointed. You are heartbroken, but you're not expressing the heartbreak you're feeling to your person. You're holding that communication back. You're holding back. You decided not to reach out. You decided to be strong and just keep silent right now. This is you very uh, disappointed emotionally and heartbroken, but not expressing the heartbreak that you are feeling inside. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. So this person of yours, your soulmate, is recognizing the fact that they haven't really reciprocated like they should have, you see? You see it and they recognize it as well. For some reason, whether they couldn't because of their circumstances or didn't want to for whatever reason, they didn't meet you halfway in this relationship didn't uh, reciprocate, didn't express. Yeah, you see, this person has a hard time expressing emotions. For some reason, they're not initiating communication easily. They're not expressing emotions, feelings easily. This person showing up as powerful at their job or business. 
attractive, enigmatic. A lot of people admire this person at their job or business. This is you silent, quiet. Yeah, this is you silent, quiet, uh, trying to heal from this heartbreak, trying to make sense of things. A lot of you are dealing with Libra over here and Aries also, Aquarius, so many signs popping up here. Hmm, let's see over here. Yeah, you guys are very connected still, spiritually and emotionally. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you feeling unappreciated, unloved in this situation. But nevertheless, when you add all these cups, it shows that you are reminiscing of this person, missing them, loving them, but quiet. Yeah, you are very intuitive. This is you having wisdom, great intuition. You are silent on purpose. Wow, look how beautiful your energy is, whether you're male or female. Queen of Wands, Queen of Action. You are passionate, you are powerful, you are independent, strong-willed. Wow, you are very connected with the divine. Look at this, High Priestess with the star. You are very connected with the divine. This is you re realizing that this connection with this person is very significant to both of you. Past life connections between you two. You see, you two are going to see each other again in future lifetimes. So contracts between you two. Aquarius popping up here very strongly. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate, Aries. Universe, please show us very clear and important messages for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Aries, the soulmate of Aries. What is going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind at this time? This one wants to show up as extra message. Oh my goodness. They see exactly what they need to do. Yeah, so this person did in fact show up this time as in and out of your life, more out of your life than in your life, not consistent in your life, not reciprocating, not communicating for some reason, uh, whether they can't because of certain circumstances in their life or were scared or didn't want to for whatever reason, they showing up as not being consistent, yeah as not telling you where you stand, what to expect, how they feel. But you see, once again, they want to show up with some kind of offer, emotional offer towards you. Yeah. See, this person respects you greatly. You're not desperate for anyone's attention. You're not chasing them. You're not needy or clingy emotionally or physically. This person views you as very different from others. Yeah. Very attractive, different, appealing, enigmatic. Yeah, you see, they also have six of cups towards you. This person can't stop reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you, loving you. This person wants a reunion with you. So for this to show up like this with the moon reversed, it shows that this person is aware what the problem is. So they know what they need to change. The question is, will they change it? Will they make necessary adjustments, changes to accommodate this relationship? Yeah, let's see. Universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces over here. What's going on in Cancerian? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Yeah, they feel empty, sad without you. Yeah, this is them looking over everything. They feel deep emotions for you. All sorts of emotions, feelings, deep feelings. This is them quiet, but uh, thinking, pondering, analyzing, strategizing this whole situation, pondering, yeah, planning. Um, they're trying to go within, deep within, and make wise decisions here. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo and Scorpio. 
look at major changes in this person's life. They're going through some kind of spiritual awakening, rebirth. Wow, they're scared of your judgment. They're scared of you telling them no. This is how they view you currently towards them, very uh, guarded with your heart, not trusting the situation, very careful. So you did, in fact, tell this person exactly how you felt. Yeah, you didn't hold back. This is uh, them viewing you as very wise, perceptive, careful, strategic. Yeah, they view us disappointed emotionally deeply. Yeah, Virgo and Libra are showing up here. This person is trying to figure out what to do, how to handle this. This person wants to be back in your life. Yeah, see, they don't like these fights, disagreements. They don't like this energy between you two. Yeah, they don't like this. They want uh, peace between oh this person thinks that it's over even though they don't want this to be over they scared that you let them go for good this shows clearly that this person feels enormous amount of guilt regret heartbreak so this person realizes that they've made some mistakes and uh, they lost you and they think that you're done with them that you're not coming back this is them scared that this is over they have so much respect for you. They view you as very attractive, strong-willed, marriage material. Yeah. What concerns me, though, is that they keep showing up as a knight, you see? Which means they're not consistent in their actions, in their communication. And you keep showing up as a queen energy, which means you are consistent, reliable, strategic when you give your word you follow through with actions you see hmm let me see what's going on here this person was a reunion with you this is them loving you deeply missing you universe please show us um what's going on currently with the soulmate of aries and how is the soulmate of aries towards aries at this time yeah for the third time from two different tarot decks, they're showing up as a knight of cups. This person wants to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer, gesture. Yeah, they want to break this silence. They want to uh, talk. They want to clear the air between you two. Um, yeah, this means communication, but they've been holding back this communication. They're in love with you. So as far as their behavior and their communication is concerned with you they not predictable at all it's like you don't know what to expect but as far as their feelings are concerned for you this person loves you deeply genuinely and they holding two cups here which means they're trying to figure out how you feel currently towards them do you love them do you miss them do you dislike them they don't know you see um, they think that by knowing how you truly feel, it will help them make a decision on how to approach you correctly, what to say. See, that's what worries me. So this person has a very hard time expressing emotions, um, communicating, especially when it comes to initiating communication. You see, this person is hoping you're going to break down and initiate this communication first. They don't like to be seen as emotionally vulnerable. Mm. they hiding that they love you deeply genuinely um aries we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about this person's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're gonna ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is, you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. 
So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.